Here's the uh, the other side, outside the fence of the uh, horse corral area. And I'm actually down from the house. And uh, this is actually pretty cool. It's got a little rock formations with uh, um, old carriage wheel iron, I guess. It was already here when we got here, so I don't debate if I want to move it or not or get rid of it or just keep it here just because it adds a little, I guess, western flavor to the rocks. My kids try to play on this, and I have to keep them off. And we got a wooden fence down here. And uh, that's what I was talking about. How the fence is all electrified. Except it's actually ran off of this right here. It's a solar panel. And you got a uh, an on and off switch pretty much. It turns the gate. It turns it on and off. I honestly don't know. I just turned it on. I don't know if it works, and I sure as the hell am not going to touch the fence. I do hear a ticking sound, so you can hear it. I don't know if, if the camera's picking it up or not, but there's a ticking sound. I'm going to turn that off. There's no more ticking sound. So I'm just going to assume that it is working. <laughs> but I'm not going to touch the fence to find out. Maybe one day, one video, I'll be stupid enough and brave enough to touch the fence and show you guys that motherfucker works. <laughs> but uh, this is more of the property. I'm going to get a little closer to the house. Again, like I said, part two, I will show you the inside of the house. It's actually very, very nice, but right now it's kind of fucking messy. We have boxes everywhere that we, you know, kind of just throw in there to get rid of. Not a real fan of this gravel shit, but, you know, what can you say? I guess supposedly it helps traction when it rains and snows. But look at this. Look at the fucking, I mean, it's got a nice view. I gotta give it that. And uh, we got it for a good price. Got all over here, all that's ours. All the way to fuck around is ours. Grant, some of it is not usable. So only six acres of it is usable, which is what you fucking see here you know I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do like I wanna plant some shit over let's see if I can kinda cooperate with my fucking hand I wanna grow some you know plants and stuff over here fruits or vegetables whatever I got a green thumb so I don't care what anybody says but I wanna see if I can turn this area into like a planting spot and then come over here. We got an old truck that I use around the property. And uh, that's like the back side of the house more. The only thing I don't like, and I have to admit, I do not like this. But with the price, you can't really beat it. There is a freeway up here, as you can see the cars driving by. You don't hear them at night. You don't hear practically anything at night, which is cool. But I did have a fear that maybe one day you'll have an idiot drinking and driving or somebody that just can't drive at all come down the fucking hill and roll right into the fucking property and it's probably into the house. But from where the side of the uh, hill is over, you got probably about a football field wide of you know distance between that hill and the house and I've already had it looked into whether or not if a vehicle has ever crashed and it hasn't happened doesn't mean it won't happen but it hasn't happened 
and I pray to God that it won't happen. <laughs> so you have this side. I hope I don't get the address to the house because I don't want no weird motherfuckers showing up to the house. Fuck that bird scared the shit out of me. I want to get the license plate in it. But here's this part, garage. This part. Here's the other side of the house. As you can tell, it's fucking huge. And we're going to walk on this side. And it just pretty much goes from here and it'll wrap. Sorry, it is kind of getting dark, so it's kind of getting hard to see. But it wraps all the way around. It goes all the way down back here. Shockingly, you don't fucking hear any vehicles inside the house. So you sleep fucking amazing. But first time buyer. What do you get when you don't really shop around as much? But I like the area. It's freaking 12 acres. You know, I got my own fucking property, places that I can fucking hike around at. So don't care. And it's got a nice fucking view. Like, it's got a nice fucking view. So first time buyer. And I don't know. I think it's going to be maybe my only fucking house that I ever buy unless I want to buy and flip houses, which... Is a pain in the fucking ass. Let's go outside here. Oh, wait, this is a perfect view. Perfect view. Okay, look at this. There's the house. There's the fucking property. Goes all the way down there. You know what I mean? This, well, some of the property that you can't see. The other property is actually outside this fence, but they only fenced off what is usable again. So the other the other side of the property is fenced. Um, I will show you another video outside how far the property line goes and how gorgeous it looks, which is cool. Um, the only thing you have to deal with is cars driving by, but you don't hear it unless you're outside, so I really don't give a shit. And you got plenty of property. My kids can, you know, run around, get tired. And it's it's gorgeous when it starts to get dark out. Like it really, really fucking is. So I'm also looking for um, a German Shepherd. I really hope that my camera is not picking up the noise of the traffic that happens to be behind my fucking head but I'm looking for a German Shepherd so if anybody has German Shepherds or is breeding them preferably like a, full, a pure breed purebred um, let me know hit me up in the comments and uh, you know I want a dog I mean I got I got a few dogs they're up in Ventura and uh, I gotta find time to go up there and get them. And what sucks about living out in the middle of fucking nowhere, um, I literally gotta drive like 30 to 45 minutes, you know, inland towards Temecula. And that should give some of y'all an idea of where the fuck I'm at, but I'm not gonna say anymore. But it's about 30 to 45 minutes towards Temecula just to do shopping which is why I'm gonna be growing my own shit out here. So I don't have to drive that 30 to 45 minutes. Um, and also it, it sucks when you have to get work done on your fucking vehicle, which is why my car's in the shop. Um, I gotta start doing some work here at the house on vehicle so I don't have to do that 30 to 45 minute drive. But I prefer to live secluded away from every fucking body and just have my own property. You don't. You don't see the next fucking house. There's no fucking house around me. You know what I mean? So, that's the best part. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I can run around butt naked if I wanted to. I'm not. 
I'm not into that. But I can run around butt naked if I wanted to around the fucking property. You know what I mean? And the only person that would probably see, if you could see way the fuck over here in this area, that's my fucking neighbor. That motherfucker has to be like few fucking miles. No, not miles. I would say maybe 20 or 30 miles, give or take. I mean, he's way the fuck out there. He looks like a fucking dot right there. Looks like a fucking dot. You know what I mean? I can shoot my gun out here if I want to. I can blow up shit out here if I want to. I could flip off all these fucking cars out here that drive by every fucking day if I want to. And nobody can get in here. Fuck with me. And the way that it's, it's set up is almost like it's in your own private cul-de-sac, if so to speak. But like, there's only one way in and one way out. It's the same fucking way you came in. So I can see out through my fucking window. Out through my fucking window, I can see straight down who the fuck is coming up and who the fuck is leaving. So nobody can, you know, get in and out without me fucking knowing. And all this shit is fucking motion sensor set up so no one can get in. But I do need a dog. So if y'all could be kind, let me know who's selling pure breaded, you know, German Shepherds. Let me know. I appreciate it. You know, money's not an option. So y'all have a good night. And, uh, I'll do a part two, show you inside the house, the marble flooring, shit like that. Uh, you guys have a good New Year's, I hope. I sure did. Starting off with a new fucking house and property, so can't, can't complain. <laughs> Alright, I'm out.